AESC Award of Excellence honors individuals at the height of their careers um, who have made significant, outstanding contributions to the executive search and leadership consulting profession. Recipients have contributed something that is remarkable, innovative, or groundbreaking in their firm and then for the profession. It's an honor for me to present the next award to Sabine Vink, uh, Spencer Stewart in London. Sabine leads Spencer Stewart's leadership services practice across Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. So clearly she has a big reach. She advises clients on a range of leadership and talent topics, including assessment and development, succession planning, team effectiveness, and organization culture. Prior to joining Spencer Stewart, she was Associate Dean at London Business School, overseeing executive education. She's made so many contributions to elevating the work we do in leadership consulting, um, including publishing an article, The Leadership Odyssey, in Harvard Business Review. Um, this is the kind of thing that elevates the profession beyond just a company um, so that the world can understand the impact we make. Um, in terms of quality, she's received Spencer Stewart's Quality Award, uh, the Lou Rieger Award, not just once, but twice, and plays an active role in shaping the standards. Um, coaching as a board member of Mailer Campbell, I hope I said that right, um, a leading UK-based senior executive coaching training company. So she helps train those who are doing executive coaching. And here's what Sabine's colleagues and clients have to say about her. Sabine is passionate about professional standards and quality of delivery to clients. She is highly sought after as a client advisor, helping leaders navigate the most critical issues facing their businesses. One of her clients said, her contributions have been many. She is someone who can be highly trusted, not just for the task at hand, but more so for her maturity, her common sense, and her high levels of confidentiality. That's what trust is all about, right? She adds real value to the business. So now, please join me on the stage so that I can present AESC's Award of Excellence. Thank you so much. Thank you to the AESC, but also my uh, colleagues and clients who have nominated me. And congratulations, Kathy, on the award. Uh, what a special day. I will keep this with me uh, for a long time. It actually is particularly meaningful because today to the day is when seven years ago I joined the profession. As Karen said, I was Associate Dean at London Business School. This was a mid-career, rather risky move. Most of my friends told me I was crazy. And I must say I was slightly reluctant. It turns out that my Spencer Stewart colleagues know a thing or two about people and careers. Because here I am seven years later, and I just love my work. I truly do. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect to do such rewarding engagements with clients, to build such meaningful relationships, and actually to have been on a journey of personal growth to be able to deliver what I do. And my story is just not, not such an important story, but I think it says something about the role of this profession. We change lives, we enable people to become the flowers that they are meant to be. And what a meaningful and important role in the turbulent times we are in. And I would say that actually embracing this role even more fully is the opportunity that we all have. Embracing this role means evolving what we do. And we have talked for a while now about moving beyond um, defining roles and finding the right people for these roles and actually focusing on equipping um, the leaders once they are in role. I think it's significant that both Kathy and myself who focus on the equipping part have earned the award today. But I will say that that's just the beginning. As we've talked about this morning, the challenges are significant, 
leadership is evolving. Leadership in the 21st century is going to be completely different, and I don't think we've figured out yet. Working with Herminia Ibarra on the Harvard Business Review article has made me realize how much of a voice we can have as a profession in shaping this debate. We know so much about leadership. We've watched leaders since 1959, and I think that's one of the things we can do. Embracing this role also means embracing technology, as we've spoken this morning, and figuring out the best way to make the use of it to be better at what we do. But I will, would say that it comes with becoming even more human. I think one of the things we do so well is being human, building relationships and building trust. And that is how we are going to help leaders evolve their leadership style in the face of new um, challenges. And I, and I think we've almost taken these qualities for granted, and distilling that is going to make us even better. Cl certainly, this technology and being even more human is one of the things that occupies a lot of our thinking at Spencer Stewart in my time. And finally, there is excellence. Excellence is a funny thing because the minute we are convinced that we are excellent is the sign that we are about not to be anymore. And so I think about excellence as a process, as a journey that comes from diverse perspectives, dialogue, and debate. That's why the AESC is so important. It's also why I'm so grateful to my friends, colleagues, and clients who have invested time in conversations with me, in challenges, in feedback that was not always comfortable, but they've made me better at what I do. And they've made this award possible. And in fact, this award should also be theirs. Thank you. Thank you.